Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again with yet another Batman 66 video, courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. And today, we got a whole new, brand new set of Target-exclusive Batman 66 action figures to check out. First and foremost, we have a black and white Boy Wonder Robin. Here's the barcode for him. We've got lots of Robins, but black and white, I get it. Along with a black and white version of the Riddler, which... Is actually pretty cool. He comes with a cane now, the Riddler cane. Then we finally have Vincent Price's egghead, which I could not be more stoked about, along with King Tut. The fact that they're going deep diving now, giving us figures that have never really been uh, figures outside of dolls, you know what I mean? But the big one for me is Two-Face. And I love that they did that because this hails from the Batman 66 comic, also kind of sort of the animated feature that came out. But uh, the backside is showing a Batgirl. That would be awesome. Here is the barcode for him as well. And like I said, these should be starting to hit Target store shelves anytime now. Hopefully before the end of the year, but probably more into January. So this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at some of the brand new McFarlane toys, the Target exclusive Batman 66 action figures. And while I got all you biff, pow, bang, wow figure people here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, here's everything out of the packaging. And first and foremost, I got to say, just wait till the end of the video. It's going to get wild. I'm just saying, the setup you can make is amazing. So in terms of uh, the black and white Robin the Boy Wonder, he comes with the same sort of clip-on effects we've gotten a dozen times. Robin looks great. I have no problem with these black and white figures. I actually think that that's a very cool throwback. It's an interesting repaint if you have to do it. He still has that kind of taffeta cape. I'm not stoked on those. Cloth capes going forward would be ideal, but the colors are great. The punching effects are fine for what they are, but being, well, as you shouldn't see the rest of the figures in this wave, it would be nice to get new accessories for Robin, like a grapple or something like that. But I got to tell you, if you have the black and white Batman, then yeah, this, this just looks amazing to me. I love old fashioned type superhero nonsense. And uh, yeah, I, I'm totally happy with this Robin. Now, over on the other black and white villain spectrum, we have Ouch and Wham for the Riddler's effects. They're fine. But the real key piece right here is that he finally comes with the Riddler cane. Now, of course, the one caveat being that it's cast in the gray plastic, right? Instead of green. But it's cool. Makes me hope that they do uh, eventual full color Riddler with all the accessories and such. But this Frank Gorshin head sculpt is top notch. It's so much better than the prior released full color glory of uh, all the Riddlers, even with the punching gloves. But you can't really move his mask. It's basically just situated below his neck. I've tried to pop the head off to no avail. You could probably heat it up and go crazy if you wanted to remove it. All the black question marks all over him are great. And again, just like Batman and Robin, this Riddler looks great with the black and white Joker. So again, this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I sure do love the black and white nature. That's just a total throwback. He holds the cane really, really well. So hopefully we get a green cane eventually, right? And then over on the King Tut spectrum, well, we have uh, this red, I, I guess you'd call it like a writing crop something like that, and then you have his little Egyptian staff. Now, this is quite possibly, this is the best Batman 66 figure they have done yet. The paint is stellar. The sculpt is stellar. It's a one-off sculpt, right? I mean, look at all the draperies and everything. His cape is a cloth cape, like a real cloth cape. He's the big old rotund fat guy, King Tut, that you would expect. Don't call him Maxi Zeus, right? King Tut, yeah, Batman animated, I can see the resemblance there, right? But minimal articulation, the same exact articulation you would expect from all these Batman 66. He loses a bit right here in the legs. They simply just turn. There's nothing at the feet or anything like that. But I'm very happy with this. Like the fact that we got a King Tut figure with a cloth cape, 
is amazing. And as you can see the difference, it's not that awful taffeta stuff. I really don't like the capes on Batman and Robin. This is the way to go. So going forward, please, cloth capes with any new releases of Batman and Robin. And he has hands that can hold the weapons and he stands well. I mean, look at the paint just alone on the belts. This is more paint that you get on most DC Multiverse figures. So this is quite the... This is one of my favorite lines of McFarlane that they are doing. It's just the world building is amazing. And he holds both of his accessories perfectly. This is King Tut straight from Batman 66. And I cannot stress enough, this is an amazing figure. And then... Again, keeping it going, you have Splat and Crack. And if you know Egghead, then he just threw a bunch of eggs in a barn at Batman and Robin. This is Vincent Price as Egghead. I, again, can't believe that we're getting this deep. This is so much fun right here. The fact that they're doing all these obscure villains. This is Vincent Price through and through. They nailed the head sculpt. They nailed the paint. He's got his white dandy suit on with all the little yellow trimmings, his feet. He's got the tails right here. That's one unfortunate thing. Won't be able to sit him down in the whole Villains Lair clubhouse, you know what I mean? But he can stand there and look rad. Now, same exact articulation, arms, legs, head, everything else moves. The one thing that I would have loved for him to come with is an egg. <laughs> Or a carton of eggs, right? You even get a little bit of waist swivel there. His hands move, right? Just like that. So, again, he kind of looks like he's holding the gun, which you could kind of dig through your weapons drawer and find a gun for him. But he really does look like he's kind of pinching a little egg right there. So, I'm looking for an egg accessory somewhere because I think that that would just be fun. His other hand is a fisted hand. They nailed it. This is so much fun. From King Tut to Egghead. I mean, of all the villains, right? Think about Batman 66. But this one right here, this is really cool. So Two-Face's accessory comes with the double-headed coin, right? One is all messed up, a la every single iteration of Two-Face you could think of. It says freedom and heroes we trust. You can flip it. And that's a really cool accessory. It's like getting a decoder ring, right? You can use this coin. It's big enough. It's an actual coin, and that is very, very cool to me. It's plastic, though. Just keep that in mind. But the fact now that they're delving into the comic book realm of Batman 66 and also the animated feature, I mean, this Two-Face is tremendous. This is, next to King Tut, with all his uh, cloth goods glory and everything else, this is, again, one of the best Batman 66 figures. One of the best McFarlane figures they have done in all of 2022, you can see the purple right here on the side of his suit. It has little details in it. That's awesome. Uh, one caveat, though, I would say is that the arm and the leg don't really match the actual jacket part. They could have matched up just a little bit better. It's a little bit lighter in the purple, but the black is solid, right? This is 1966 classic DC Comics. It's just so cool. And of course, right here in his hand, kind of like Egghead. Or you can have him hold the big old scarred silver dollar, right? Now that I look at it, it kind of reminds me of Batman Forever. But you can bash Batman over the head. You can stick it in the villain's lair. The sky is the absolute limit. You can do whichever you want with it. Same exact articulation. The hands will spin. Rotation at the elbows. Single jointed knees, elbows, all that great stuff. Great articulation in the head. And he doesn't have any restrictive coattails. So you can have him pull up a seat inside the villain's lair. And if you wanted to see the scaleture between Batman and then all the new villains, Batman will be on the shorter side. But I really do think that that matches up with Adam West. I'm not going to say or speak to Two-Face, but I think all the rest totally work. And just as a heads up, I recently got this guy, I think it was about a month or two ago, but this is Alfred as Batman. It's also a Target exclusive. It's totally wackadoo, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm having a blast with this Batman 66 line. And then to have all of the 66 villains together, right? Mr. Freeze, Eartha Kitt, Catwoman, Two-Face now. And then you have Julie Newmar. Maybe we'll get Lee Merriweather eventually, right? Round out the Catwoman's. Joker, King Tut, Egghead, Penguin with the umbrella, and of course, Frank Gorshin, the Riddler, holding that Riddler cane. I have soaps on this. This is 
a blast. But let me just point this out right here. I really got to change that sticker eventually. But the villain's lair, with all the villains now set up, is so dang cool. And eventually I'd love to see the bookworm and Clock King and Mad Hatter even go maybe more comics weirdo -ness, maybe Lord Deathman, or have a two or three pack of goons. That'd be awesome. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new set of Target exclusive Batman 66 figures by McFarlane Toys. And again, thank you to McFarlane for sending these out to give you guys this early fresh look. And you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And stay tuned. Before the end of the year, I will have my full Batman 66 collection roundup. And we can really have some fun. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, in case I don't talk with you, have a fantastic holiday. Be safe. Have a great time. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.